We will discuss about some important physico-chemical process in pharmacy. We will have a short review of this physico-chemical process for the purpose of uh, exams. Is this uh, different process are so much important from the examination point of view. So the first uh, physico-chemical process is efflorescence. What is the efflorescence? The first definition of efflorescence is the spontaneous dehydration of a compound is called efflorescence. are the loss of what the loss of uh, water of crystallization to form an hydrous salt hydrate with low or less molecule of water of crystallization is called efflorescence what is a spontaneous spontaneous mean continuous dehydration dehydration mean the loss of water of a compound is called efflorescence or the loss of water of crystallization to form a hydrous salt or salt with some less molecule of water of crystallization than the original one is called efflorescence for example, sodium carbonate with 10 molecule of water of huh? crystallization, it may lose these water of huh? crystallization to form some low This uh, water of crystallization may be lost to form lower hydrate or to form anhydrous sodium carbonate depending upon the condition. Why uh, this efflorescence process uh, takes place? This efflorescence process takes place um, because the water vapor pressure in the surrounding atmosphere is less than from the upper pressure of water in the hydrate it means that uh, if uh, water vapor pressure for example this is a block of a uh, sodium carbonate 10 molecule of uh, water of crystallization this is a hydrate 
if uh, vapor pressure inside this uh, block is more than the vapor pressure in the surrounding then water will be lost uh, for example if uh, water vapor pressure inside this uh, salt is uh, 32 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 Newton per meter and uh, vapor pressure outside the or uh, of the surrounding atmosphere is a uh, 13.33 multiplied by 10 is the power 2 Newton per meter so uh, we know that water will be uh, last and it will move into the surrounding environment and lower hydrate or anhydrous salt will be obtained uh, and this process will stop when both the these vapor pressure values become equal to each other other example uh, of a fluorescent uh, substances are uh, sodium thiosulfate it also may lose its water of uh, crystallization and sodium biphosphate it may lose its uh, water of uh, crystallization to form some lower hydrate or to form anhydrous uh, salts uh, what is the important of this efflorescent uh, or efflorescent press in pharmacy it may be used to increase the potency because the hydrated form may have less potency As compared to the anhydrous state and uh, another importance of this process is that uh, anhydrous form is uh, easy to handle as compared to hydrated form and also the anhydrous state is the most stable state uh, uh, is compared to the hydrated state because in the hydrated state hydrolysis may uh, take place and fungal or bacterial growth may occur in some useful active pharmaceutical ingredients so we may dry our substances by the process of efflorescence to place them in an environment uh, where the water vapor pressure is uh, less as compared to the water vapor pressure present inside the uh, substance which is to be dried and uh, an advanced uh, state of the fluorescent process is the fluorescence process is the execution this is the advanced stage of the fluorescence process this is the scarred execution this is the same process through which we prepare uh, an important uh, entry anemic uh, salt executed ferrous sulfate and iron deficiency anemia we may use this salt uh, uh, this is obtained by the press of execution and copper sulfate may be prepared by this press of execution sodium carbonate uh, and executed alum may be prepared by this process what is this process of execution uh, it is an advanced uh, as I uh, discussed earlier it is an advanced form of uh, the process of uh, efflorescence uh, and execution we simply use uh, heat or the, uh, we can define this process as a uh, the process of uh, removing water of crystallization from crystalline salt rendering them anhydrous is called execution 
are uh, the process of accelerating the rate of efflorescence accelerating mean to increase the velocity accelerating the process of accelerating uh, uh, the rate of a uh, efflorescence by increasing temperature up to 110 to 120 degree centigrade is called uh, execution the main difference is the between the efflorescent and execution uh, is the is that executed crystal our executed substance is necessarily anhydrous. Executed substance is a necessarily anhydrous. It means that uh, in this case we say that uh, some lower are less molecular water of uh, uh, some lower hydrates are hydrate containing less molecular water of crystallization are formed but in this case only anhydrous uh, substances um, are uh, obtained another uh, important physical chemical process uh, which will be discussed here is the uh, it is uh, desiccation what is desiccation these all are the drying process. Uh, this is the removal of mechanically adhering moisture. Moisture that is the uh, last traces of moisture. is called desiccation this is another drying process huh? as we discussed earlier about this is the spontaneous or continuous process this is the accelerated process huh? by uh, in which we add add heat to accelerate the process of huh? uh, loss of huh? master um, or we can see the loss of water of crystallization uh, and in this process necessarily in hydrous substance erupted. and this is the process by which we remove just uh, the mechanically adhering for example this is a uh, this process is carried out in a desiccator let us consider this is a desiccator The secretor is somewhat dislike. Substance. This like a container. Here for example we place our substance which uh, is containing mechanical hair moisture rather I should make moisture with a different color this is the mechanically adhered moisture we so in this case we just remove this uh, moisture not the internal water of crystallization as in case of sodium carbonate we will there was internal water of crystallization 10 molecule it has only mechanically adhered moisture which can be 
removed by placing a desiccant substance with it in a desiccator at a specific uh, for a specific period of time at a specific temperature this desiccant uh, substance may be liquid or may be solid for example uh, it may be placed with a calcium chloride silica gel these substances may be silica gel Th these are desiccants are the substances which uh, remove mechanically adhering masters they are called desiccants for example silica gel um, calcium chloride concentrated H2SO4 may be used as a liquid desiccant to dry the gases gases are passed over concentrated H2SO4 to remove them to absorb water vapors from the gases mm. or silica gel calcium chloride they are placed with the solid substances to absorb moisture from mechanically adhere moisture from the substance so they will become dry and then there is a another important process huh? physical chemical process which is called the decantation What is this decantation process? It is the gentle pouring of huh? liquid without disturbing the solid sediment. disturbing the solid sediment or we can define it uh, in a, another elaborated way that uh, can be defined is the method of uh, separation of uh, solid from soluble impurities is called decantation this press involves severing uh, the three steps huh? in the first step let us consider this is a, this is a beaker this beaker we have for example a solvent uh, or water in it uh. so what we will do we want to carry out uh, this decantation process no? why we want to carry out this decantation process because to obtain a solid impure form how this solid impure form will be obtained this solid impure form must be insoluble in the in this uh, solvent so 
so for example we add a this solid in the first step we agitate this solid agitate mean to mix it to shake it as we defined it uh, the method of separation of solid from its soluble impurities solid must be obtained in pure state and it must be insoluble in the solvent but uh, the impurities they must be soluble in this uh, solvent So what will happen? We will add this uh, solid. It will agitate it. After agitation, this uh, solid powder it will be dispersed in the liquid phase, uh, and uh, then we will give time, time, and allow allowing the solid to settle down. As it is. insoluble so it will settle down or it will precipitate and in the third step what we will do but the impurities they are soluble you know this uh, this is the solid with impurities these are the for example these are the insoluble impurities uh, are the soluble impurities so after uh, a time what will happen sorry the insoluble solid will be precipitated in this state huh? while the soluble soluble impurities they will move to the upper state okay so removing the supernatant layer this layer is called the supernatant layer super this layer is called the supernatant layer while well, this is the solid precipitate in the pure form so we will in the third step we will remove this uh, supernatant layer so when this layer is removed this pure solid in a pure state will be obtained this process is used prior to filtration how to avoid the loss of time and it is more effective than the direct washing because it is only applied for the precipitates free from the soluble impurities and then there is another process another important process deliquescence now we are going to um, we are going in reverse of uh, efflorescence the deliquescence process is actually the reverse process of uh, efflorescence it is the uh, phenomena of uh, taking up moisture from the environment oblique atmosphere 
or atmosphere sorry to form a more hydrated liquid phase is called if uh, deliquescence and deliquescence this uh, liquid phase or uh, saturated solution is formed this is the important point which is to be noted that in deliquescence uh, hydrated liquid liquid phase or saturated solution is uh, obtained it is solid is uh, converted into liquid phase such solid or crystal are called deliquescents such solid or liquid are called liquid since for example potassium hydroxide when it is placed in environment or in atmosphere it takes up a moisture from the surrounding it form a to form a solution this is the deliquescence and process mm, potassium hydroxide calcium chloride potassium carbonate they all undergo this uh, deliquescent process and then there is another important point uh, important physical chemical process which is called hydro scopicity and hygroscopicity uh, what happen that uh, liquid phase or saturated solution is not formed and it may be defined as the property of certain substances to absorb moisture from the atmosphere atmosphere but not converted to concentrated uh, solution or to liquid phase is called hygroscopicity in the substances are called hygroscopic substances for example sodium hydroxide aspirin ammonium chloride and sodium sulfate they all undergo this uh, deliquescent uh, hygroscopicity are and they are hygroscopic substances then there is another important uh, process uh, which is called uh, um, elutrization elu trication what happen in the elutrization it is the process of separation of particle particle that is fine and coarse particle fine and coarse particle from the liquid are using a liquid although there are different uh, uh, particle separation technique uh, such as sieving but one method which may be used is the elutrization process uh, powder is separated into different uh, degree of fine by stirring the substance with a large volume of liquid for example this is a beaker this is a tank uh, rather large volume of uh, liquid is present in the tank uh, we add uh, a powder with different particle size that is a uh, coarse and uh, fines it is added in it uh, so obviously the larger particle will 
सेटल डाउन स्मॉलर पार्टिकल विल बी सस्पेंडेड इन द अपर मोस्ट लेयर द फाइनेस्ट पार्टिकल विल बी प्रेजेंट वाइल इन द लोअर मोस्ट लेयर द कोर्सर और द मोर लार्जर पार्टिकल विल प्रेजेंट सो दे मे बी सेपरेटेड बाय दिस टेक्निक देन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट फिजिकल केमिकल प्रोसेस इज अ लिविगेशन Levigation is also in the same pattern like elutrization, uh, which is used in state of uh, sieving. It is also a same alternate method for the particle size reduction instead of uh, mechanical mean. We use levigating agent or liquid, like in elutrization, instead of use mechanical mean, we use. solvent or liquid to separate the coarser and finer particle similarly we use here levigating agent to reduce the, to reduce the particle size it is a process of particle size uh, reduction by first forming a paste of solid by adding the minimum amount of suitable non solvent or levigating agent and then triturating the same in a uh, pressure and motor are on the slab using the slab and spatula in this press for example this is slab oh. this is a spatula first of all we this is the coarser particle so we add a levigating agent into it um, or non solvent in which it is not uh, soluble and we make it a paste and uh, then mix it uh, with this spatula or we may triturate it in a pestle and mortar so the friction here will reduce the particle size and then there is another important physical chemical process which is called fusion fusion is what the process of liquefying a substance by heat process of huh? liquefying a substance huh? by heat in this uh, process uh, we don't do not add a liquid to liquefy a substance or dissolve it huh? instead we heat it until it is uh, liquefied it is called this process is called uh, fusion and then there is another important physical chemical uh, process uh, which is called uh, sublimation what is this sublimation process sublimation is the direct conversion of solid into gas or gas into solid without uh, the intermediate step of being converted into liquid mostly when we convert solid into gas first of all it is converted into liquid phase then it is converted into gas but in sublimation this process of conversion of solid into liquid is a uh, omitted directly solid is converted into gas or gas is directly converted into solid this process is called uh, sublimation sublimation process occur at uh, lower vapor pressure and lower temperature an example of this process is the 
lyophilization or gel secation or freeze drying which is the drying of any substance under a low vapor pressure and under a low temperature in this case first the material is a frozen first then subjected to and then the vapor pressure is a vacuum is created and after vacuum is created simply the material is a heated by low temperature heated up to low temperature so it is a directly converted into sublimed dry product so this was the process of uh, lyophilization or uh, gel secation in which the substance is first frozen and then um, a vacuum is created over the substance and again and then heated um, at low temperature and when it is heated at low temperature under vacuum it is directly sublime into dry product this process holds process called lyophilization or gel secation or drying by sublimation or freeze drying thanks for watching